Today marks 30 days since the heartbreaking Lekki Tollgate incident. Amidst all investigations, Nigerians are still patiently waiting for the government to reveal what really happened at Lekki Tollgate on October 20, 2020. On Wednesday, November 18, international media house CNN shared an in-depth report of its investigation on what happened that horrific night at Lekki Tollgate where NSAS protesters had gathered to demand an end to police brutality. The report showed videos of what appears to be soldiers shooting directly at the protesters. CNN also in its report said investigations showed that live ammunition was fired at protesters and went ahead to reveal that they interviewed over 100 persons who witnessed the incident and some individuals who are still looking for their loved ones. Well, the federal government of Nigeria after watching the video has said that international media house CNN should be sanctioned over its investigative report about the incident. In other news, DJ Switch who used an Instagram Live to give live updates when the military stormed the Lekki Toll Gate during the hashtag NSAS protest on October 20, interview with CNN has also been released and she said Nigerian government practices dictatorship with a democratic face. Ouch. Nigeria is a dictatorship with a democratic face. And I think that is primarily to, to, to please the international community. Nigerians are closely watching how the aftermath of the incident is unfolding and how the government and its army are failing to give an honest account of what really happened that sad evening. The government was instead picking up key people involved in the NSARS protest and freezing the account of several others amidst other horrible things. Is this the right move for a country that claims it practices democracy? Hello guys, it's Ticode here for Africa and Leeds. Well, after the eye-opening investigative report by CNN, Lai Mohammed, who spoke on behalf of the federal government, said the report was one-dimensional and lacked balance. CNN which touted this report as an exclusive investigative report, sadly relied on the same videos that have been circulating on social media without verification. This is very serious and CNN should be sanctioned for that. It went on to describe the report as irresponsible journalism and alleged that CNN relied on social media videos without verification to produce its report. The minister added that the federal government was standing by testimony given by the commander of 81 Military Intelligence Brigade, Victoria Island, Lagos, Brigadier General Ahmed Taiwo, who told the judicial panel of inquiry instituted by the Lagos state government on November 14 that the military officers who were at the toll gate on that day fired blank bullets. While the Lagos state government says only two persons died, eyewitnesses including DJ Switch alleged that about 15 bodies were dumped at the feet of the military after the incident. Many reports have described the incident as a massacre of Nigerian youths who were simply protesting and demanding an end to police brutality. In an interactive session with newsmen on Thursday, November 19, Lai Mohammed said the incident being portrayed so far was a social media massacre or a ox massacre. It went on to reveal that the state government requested for soldiers who were deployed over to Lagos. Shockingly, the only place the Nigerian army was reportedly found was at Lekki Toll Gate where the peaceful protesters were carrying out their activities which has been going on for 12 days. The soldiers were not spotted at other parts of Lagos where thugs and hoodlums were being deployed. See the security people supporting the thugs. See them, see them. See them, see them. See them. See them. See them. See thugs, they go listen to them. Thugs go and come to you. Thugs go and come to you. See thugs go and come to you. See thugs go and come to you. See thugs go See the security people. See them. They don't have to talk. Lai Muhammad went on to say that before deployment, the soldiers were briefed the rules of engagement, which they adhered to all through, and fired only blank ammunition into the air, which cannot damage the flesh or kill anyone. 
In regard to DJ Switch, who had repeatedly come out to dismiss the claims of the government at all levels on the number of casualties witnessed at the Lekki shooting incident, Lai Muhammad said DJ Switch claims are fake news and that she is working for someone. He went on to say that the Lekki shooting incident was a massacre without bodies. Concluding his point, he said incidents like this give credence to the plans by the federal government to regulate social media. So, he is basically saying that DJ Switch live stream of the Lekki shooting is fake news and people who propel and broadcast such news on social media should be dealt with. Wow! Well, in less than 24 hours after Lai Muhammad called out CNN over their findings with threats of sanction, the American news agency OWLS has responded and stressed that Lai Muhammad did not provide any evidence to back his own allegation of them being irresponsible with their report which he claimed was one-dimensional and lacking in balance. Reiterating that the Nigerian army and Lagos government refused to comment on their findings, CNN added that their report was based on testimonies from dozens of witnesses, photos geolocated by CNN which according to them painted a picture of our members of the Nigerian army and the police shot at the crowd, killing at least one person and wounding dozens. CNN also disclosed that the verified footage obtained from witnesses and protesters by using timestamp and data from the video files. In the wake of all these happenings, the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, is still yet to address the Lekki Tollgate incident. Shockingly, Instead of addressing the incident, he rather in a fresh report on November 17th promised Nigerians that his administration will do all within its power to prevent a repeat of the NSAS protests in the country. Is it just us or does this come across as a warning to Nigerians? In other news, Nigerian celebrated author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie spoke to CNN reacting to the current state of the country. She said that the President Buhari has an inability to understand or an unwillingness to understand what is currently going on in Nigeria. I think it is quite dangerous and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how much of it is an inability to understand or an unwillingness to understand. Because I do think that there is a wide divide between this generation of Nigerians and the generation of people in power. I also think that there is still very much a sense of, of our military history. Right? Um, that we still have a government that thinks that engaging with people is somehow doing them a favor. Are you surprised that Lai Mohammed is still lying despite all the evidence? Do you think Lai Mohammed and Buhari can sanction CNN? Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news we know you like. Subscribe to get notifications whenever we drop a new juicy video to keep you updated. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.